Good morning, class. Is everyone here? Oh, okay. Well. Let me just get everything set up. Okay, welcome class. I can see that everyone is here, I guess. Um, this is class meme 2201. If you don't know that, you're in the wrong spot. So for our first lesson today, we're going to be learning about worm on a string. Has anyone ever heard of worm on a string? Okay, some of you, okay. Well, get ready to learn more. Starting off with the basics, what is a squirmel? Well, let me tell you, a squirmel is an eight and a half inch long toy, half an inch tall with two googly eyes, a snout and a tail, and of course is attached to a clear piece of string. Squirmels come in many different colors, such as neon orange, yellow, pink, purple, green, and blue. However, they come in other colors, such as these ones presented there, which are viewed as more rare, like the black and white varieties. But these ones, they are the standard squirmel color. Take note of that, please. Pop quiz time. What are squirmels attached to? Anyone? Yes. Uh, a string? That is incorrect. Squirmels attached to us. We are holding the other end of the string. We are their leader. We lead them. We, they are attached to us. Good try. Okay, moving on to worm history. So, squirmels were first invented in the 1970s by the Illfinder Toy Company. They trademarked the name Squirmels from 1974 to 1996. Also, what's a little fun fact is that squirmels were advertised as being able to wrap around pencils and do fun little magic tricks with them. And the Illfinder Toy Company actually had a sister company in Germany that also sold pencils. So that was kind of, you know, derived demand. Anyone? Yeah? Okay. Um, good stuff. Okay, basically from 1970 to 1996, Squirmels was copyrighted, and then they essentially disappeared. Tony Stark, I don't feel so good. Haha. <laughs> JK. John Handwell in 2003 remembered about the Squirmels and started remaking them and selling them again, who then rebranded and was the owner of Natural Science Industries, then rebranded to NSI International, then passed it on to Carl Zeeler, who's the new CEO. This is his Instagram bio, I just wanted to talk about that as well. Um, I was created to create 30 million toys sold. Okay, Carl, no, no you weren't. And you are not the owner of the worm on the string. I mean, you sell them, but technically the Eelfielder Toy Company is the owner, so that's the real tea. Carl is now the owner of Now Nostalgic Toys, he's the CEO there, um, yes. So, quick recap. Eelfielder Toy Company to now Squirmels by Now Nostalgic Toys, 2004 to present, 1974. Yep. Yes, you got this. Now we're moving on to worm uses. So you might be asking yourself, what do these guys even do? I get the history, I get what it looks like, but what are they, what's the purpose? So the worm on the string, also known as Squirmels, was originally made as a toy for children to be able to do fun, little tricks with them. So you can walk them as a pet, you can wrap them around a pencil as I stated before. Um, let me show you guys a little informational video. <laughs> Sorry, technical difficulties. <laughs> I don't know how to use a computer. <laughs> that's what teachers say, right? So whenever you move your hands, that's when he's gonna move. Then as soon as you stop. Look at that, that's magic. He stops. If you spread uh -oh. out your fingers, how does he you can do that? weave in and out of your fingers. And you can use, uh, ooh, different colors Look at to that the exact worm. same thing. Here, watch. We'll That's a good-ass worm. CD, throw Look him at him go. Cup with a lid. To wake him up, just tap the top. He'll wake up, crawl right back out. Or you can, come on, stop, get back. Come on. Oh my god, he killed him. <laughs> Uh-oh. Now he's really gone. Just kidding. Oh, okay. As much as Carl Zeeler from the video loves to make it show that worm on a string is very easy to use, that is not the case. Um, I can barely make it do anything, like no one can. So no one is able to do the magic with them. So otherwise, they've been repurposed into these other uses, such as cat toys. Look at these little guys. So like this photo is actually from like an Amazon selling, selling worm on a string. Like they actually advertise it as being able to be like for your cats. That's how useless these things are. But they've also been repurposed into these fly fishing types called dragon tails. 
So Dragon Tales um, took inspiration from Worm on a String because tell me, that does not look like that. <laughs> tell me, where's the difference? It just doesn't have googly eyes, that's the only thing, but they're basically the same. Worm on a String basically inspired this type of fishing lore because people literally put these in the water and moved them around and they're like, holy shit, that looks like a worm that like a fish would actually use to like catch. So anyway, Worm on a String inspired this type of fishing lore and obviously the worms are sad because they don't want to be caught with fish. Pop quiz! What is the purpose of a squirmel? I'm waiting. Anyone? Shout it out. What is the purpose of a squirmel? To be your friend. This little thing? Look at him dead in the eyes and tell me that he does not want to be your friend. He's all about friendship. That's what he is. Moving on, hold on. Do we have any questions? Oh, I had a question. Yeah. What's the difference between squirmel and worm on a string? Yes, good question. What is the difference between a squirmel and a worm on a string? I'm glad you asked. So actually there is no difference. Squirmels go by many different names as you can see, such as Magic Twisty, Wiggles, Magic Wormy, Squirmels, Squirmelese, Magic Worm, or Magic Puzzle. These are off-brand versions of the original Squirmel, so we do not care about them. But, however, why I've been calling them Worm on the String, as you can see by the Google Trend Graph, based off the other terms, is that Worm on a String has just been increasing! It's been on an upward trend! Look at that! Look at that! And why? because of the internet, and of course, memes. So, this is obviously the moment you've been waiting for. Here are a bunch of Squirmel memes. So, the Squirmel became a meme in back in October of 2006 on the subreddit, me underscore IRL, where basically the meme renaissance was just a bunch of people posting like a bunch of shitty memes and like going at each other, I don't really know. But, this renaissance birthed the very first Squirmel meme. From the future, Good, the bear emoji attracted you here. The meme in question are Squirmels, the, the magic worm toys. After its renaissance, many people day, will buy them. Too many. The economy will collapse. Civilization as we know it will fall. Don't panic yet. We can stop the inevitable. We don't want to make shitty memes about the stupid ass worms. We'll all die. It's long! Like, who would have thought this would have been the first Squirmel meme? I'm also not convinced that it entirely is, but that's what the internet says, so it's fine. We're gonna trust it. So this was the first one back in 2006, but as you can see back on the chart, it wasn't until 2018, 2019 when the squirmel or worm on a string really started picking off. And this was because of its versatility of uses. So here are just some worm on the string memes that we're just gonna run through. Moving on, we also have some other squirmel memes, you know. You versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. Consciousness is an illusion. It's worm time, baby! Top 10 anime species. This is bad use of squirmels. Like, they are not meant to be used for spaghetti. We are not Use <laughs> More memes. Basically, squirmels are just so non-threatening. I stepped on one. I'm sorry, do not step on squirmels. <laughs> um, they're so non-threatening and it's just a great that you can put like very threatening messages over them. Like, I know how to make you cry and I'm going to steal your kneecaps. Like, I just find that shit so funny. The versatility of this meme. Like, you can just take meme inspiration. Basically, you can have worm memes about how much you love worm on a string. I'm a slut for worm on a string. Yeah, this is also me. I'm worried that I'm gonna lose all my worm on a string. I love them all. Additionally, you got just really chaotic worm on a string memes. Kind of sort of like the other ones, like, peace was never enough. Option, kill me, he's coming. Worm off the string, what sins will he commit? I don't know. That's why you gotta leave him on the string, guys. Take note of that. Yeah, also, worm on a string can't drown, so... Be careful of that. Other ones are related to how much you love worm on the string. Again, basically it's like, I don't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, but I have a worm on a string and that's all I need, baby! <laughs> I'm so lonely. <laughs> Probably gonna cut that. That could be us, but you plan. Like, we really be relating to the worms, y'all. If money can't buy happiness, what is this? You know? But wait, there's more! Yes, there is in fact a worm culture. As we continue on, worms are multi-purpose. They have been able to be used for worm decor. So example, people will tie them in strings and hang them on their door frames as a little decoration. Or you can tie them to your fan and let them blow in the wind like the free worms they want to be. Additionally, you can make them fashion. You can attach them to a leather jacket 
like so, and wear them. There's also further worm factions such as worm wigs, scarves, earrings, graduation hats, put them in shoes, you name it. People have done it. Also, you got worm clothing inspired just by the memes itself. Draw me like one of your French worms. Peace was never an option. Worm socks. My lord and savior is connected to a string. Bunch of worm clothing. People also like to make their own giant worms. You can just buy a yard of fabric, stuff it up, attach googly eyes, and there you go. You got your own big worm on a string. So like, for example, this person made one. You know, look at, look at that. That's a big worm on a string. This is a look. People. I want that. That's amazing. I love it. People also like to draw worms. So for example, here's a nice little fashion worm. This one has gun. Very easy to draw. It's not very hard to do. There's also a worm community people, or as I like to call them, the worm unity. People make videos on YouTube about how to care for your worm, how to bathe your worm, raising worms as a single mom. I took my worm on a string to Disneyland. There's also people will give their worms personalities and names, such as that's Jeff and he's a florist and I'm proud of him. Or there's Gambino and he's a painter and has three eyes because I don't know why the fuck not. People also like to modify their worm on a string and make worm creatures by adding pipe cleaners. So for example, people make dolphins or just weird little monsters. This is like a line with three eyes, I guess. And I don't know, they're weird. It's whatever, but people do that. And that's important to take note of. Also, Worm fact, people! We got a worm fact incoming! In 2011, at the royal wedding, Prince Harry gave this little three-year-old bridesmaid a squirmel. So then it became known as Squirmel's the Royal Worm, and it was like all in like a bunch of tabloids, and a lot of people were talking about it. Um, it was very popular. Some one even actually tried to trademark the name Squirmel's the Royal Worm, but it actually wasn't approved, so I find that really funny. Okay, so what is the purpose of this all? What is the point? Why am I telling you about worm on a string. So the reason is that worm on a string is just, just such a great form of creativity. It's been recontextualized into so many different formats, such as cat toys, fishing lines, memes, fashion statements. It's everything and nothing all at once. It's amazing. There's so much more to worm on the string, much like all of us. At first glance, it's just a little piece of fuzz with two googly eyes and a string, but it has so many different purposes and that's amazing. Why I'm trying to say is that we are all worms on a string. We never know which direction life is gonna pull us in next. I love worm on a string. Thank you. Class is dismissed.